Musically. Uh, one of them would be playing the national anthem in extreme cold weather. Um, the AFC Championship comes to mind a few years ago when I thought that the Indianapolis Colts were going to make it to the um, Super Bowl, and unfortunately they got derailed by your Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. Anyhow, so then subsequently the game ended up being in Denver at about 25 degrees. It takes about 25 seconds for this trumpet to turn into a scene from Dumb and Dumber, if you know what I mean. It's brutal, you know. The flyover from the jet literally saved my chops from just melting into the horn. Um, anyhow, and so I have a, a lot of sympathy when I see uh, people come walking out onto a field, a baseball diamond or whatever, a football field, when there are extreme weather conditions, because it's rough, you know? And a couple of years ago, you'll probably remember this game, it wasn't a playoff game, but it was an important game between the San Francisco 49ers and the New England Patriots, which you won. By the way, Taylor is uh, from San Francisco. If you cut your veins open, they're red and gold. Was that it? You're the biggest diehard um, uh, 49er fan in the world, right? Number one 49er fan. Angela, do you need another seat? Do you want to sit? Poor Angela, we've, we've, we've uh, evacuated her from her seat. Do you want to sit over there, Angela? Okay. That way the couple can canoodle on individual seats. Thanks, Angela. Okay. Um, okay. So anyway, so at this game, the, pa uh, the Patriots versus the 49ers, which the 49ers won, uh, well done. Uh, out comes this uh, young man to sing, and I'm somewhere in a very warm hotel room, going, "Oh, this is going to be a disaster." And he was fantastic, and I loved it. So we got a hold of him, and we asked him to come sing for you tonight. Uh, first of all, please welcome back Caroline Campbell before we bring up Joey. To Caroline Campbell. And this is a, a song that I had the great, great, great pleasure of writing a few years ago with uh, David Foster. If you've been living under a rock, yeah, if you've been living under a rock, you don't know who David Foster is. If he didn't exist, there would be no Josh Groban, no Michael Bublé, no Andre Bocelli, no Tony Braxton, no Celine Dion, no Earth, Wind, Fire, no Chicago. Da, 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 da. He's hugely responsible for the sound of those individuals. And we sat down and wrote this song, and about ten minutes into it, he goes, "Hey, Chris, let's call Andre Bocelli and see if he wants to sing this song with you." And I'm like, okay, how do we do that? Do we just dial 1 800 Bocelli and you just like, bam, there it is. Or get your rental car. Um, nobody gets that joke. It's, the, it's slow from progressive. I'm so sorry, Andre Bocelli. I put you with flow from progressive. Who is this a flow? Uh, all right, we're going to do this song called Italian for you, but let me bring out this great singer, Mr. George Komsky. George Komsky. Yeah. And by the way, George was born in Ukraine and grew up in Danville, is that right? That's a long way from home, as they said. All right, all right this is uh, Italian.